Okay, hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to look at interpolation and extrapolation. So interpolation is where we estimate a value within known values of data, and extrapolation is where we estimate a value outside known values of data. So the in tells us, you know, if we have two, we're in like that. That's how you can remember, it's within. And then x as in external. So we have known value of data outside the known value of data. So let's do an example. So example number one, A. Here we have a table. Using the data provided, estimate the y value when x equals 1, x equals 5, and x equals 8. So we notice here from our data that we're going plus 2 for the x and plus 4 for the y. So if it's reasonable to think, if it's still the same linear equation, if we go plus 1, we go plus 2 like that. And so if x equals 1, then the plus 2 is 2 plus 2, which gives 4. So x equals 1, we can estimate that y is 4. x equals 5, same thing here. We're going plus 2 and plus 4. So from 4 to 5, we're going plus 1, and then plus, 10, plus 2 to go from 10 to 12. So when x equals 5, we can estimate that y is 12. What about when x equals 8? So we got 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, so we're going plus 2. So then we go plus 4 to follow the same pattern. So 14 plus 4 gives 18. So x equals 8 gives us y equals 18. And so determining the values at x equals 1 and x equals 5 are called examples of interpolation. Determining the value x equals 8 is an example of extrapolation. Right? It's outside the data, so that's called extrapolation. And interpolation, we notice it's in between the data, so that's called interpolation. So practice number one. Here we have a da data like this, or a table. So using the data provided, estimate the y value when x equals 2, x equals 8, and x equals 12. Also, which are examples of interpolation and which are examples of extrapolation? Go ahead and pause the video and answer that. Okay, let's correct it together. So here's our data here. So we're going plus three from zero to three, and then we're going plus six from one to seven. And so we can break this down as going zero, one, two, three, one, three, five, seven, like that. And so when x equals two, it's a good estimate to say, well, y equals five, like that. And then we're gonna do the same thing from six to nine. So one, two, three, four, right? So six, seven, eight, nine. And then we're going plus two, so 13, 15, 17, 19, like that. So when x equals 8, reasonable to say y is 17. x equals 12, so we're going plus 3 here, so we're going to go plus 6 as well. So with 19 plus 6 is 25. So y equals 25 is our extrapolation. So finding values for when x equals 2 and x equals 8 are examples of interpolation, right? They were in between the data that was known. And finding the value for x equals 12 is an example of extrapolation, right? It was outside the, the known data. And that's it. It's that easy. I'll see you guys in the next video.